Hey guys, I'm back today with another tutorial. Now I am in the middle of revamping my Discord server, so if you guys are in my Discord, you will notice that I have a new ACNH order bot called Brewster's Orders. Essentially, this allows you to place a custom order and the bot will DM you the Dota code which you will use to fly in and then you can go ahead and pick up your items. Now if you want to use this, a really neat app that will help streamline the whole process for you is Berry Chan's Mobile Spawner. Now I will make sure to link this in the guide for you guys. Now you want to make sure that it's the latest release that you are downloading no matter um, at what point you watch this video. When you scroll down, you will see a couple of options here. You'll see the APK, uh, one for Mac OS, one for Windows. Um, so if you have a Mac, you can go ahead and download this one. If you have Windows, you can download the Windows one. And for mobile, you can go ahead and download the APK. However, installing it on an iPhone requires an alt store. Now, I won't be covering that in this video, but I will try to cover that in a separate video for you guys. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be showing you how Mobile Spawner runs on Windows, and it looks exactly the same no matter what platform you do run it on. Now, you do want to go ahead and download the windows.zip file. All right, once you're done downloading that, uh, make sure that it's extracted. Now I have it extracted to my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and double click on the folder and you're going to see the ACNH spawner.exe. Go ahead and double click that. Now, if it's the first time you're running this, make sure to click on run anyway after extracting the contents. Um, it might tell you that you don't have the sprites downloaded, so you want to make sure you click yes to it and then you'll see an option that says download sprites. Um, it'll probably be over here. Now, if you already had Mobile Spawner downloaded beforehand, you'll only see a repair sprites option. After you go ahead and click on repair sprites, you can go ahead and click on catalog mode. So once you have catalog mode clicked off, another thing that I personally would want you to change if you're on my Discord server in Hangout HQ is I want you to change the prefix for SysBot Animal Crossing and change it to the percent sign because that is the prefix that is being used on my order bot on my Discord server. So make sure you change that. You don't have to worry about anything else here. Once you're done with that, you can click on the X button there. Now, once you're all loaded up in catalog mode, you'll see 40 blank spots up top. Think of this as your inventory in AC. Now, if you want to order an item, go ahead and type in the item in the search bar. Now, let's look up a diner chair, for example. Now, you'll see that it uh, came up right away. Now, if I want to add it to my inventory, I'm going to go ahead and click on set to current. And there you'll see that it, it automatically put it in my first inventory slot. Now, if you want to change the variation of the diner chair, if you come down here, you'll see where it says body and it says it's already on default, which is zero, which is red. Now, if you want to change it to blue, you go ahead and click on blue and then you can click set to current. But right now it's on the first spot. So if you click set to current, it's just going to change that. So if you want, um, let's say you want a yellow one and you want to put it in another inventory slot. There you go. Now you have a blue diner chair and you have a yellow diner chair. Now, if you'd like all of the different variations of the diner chair, you can click on set all body variations and it's just going to automatically fill up every single variation of the diner chair for you without you um, going back and clicking on it individually. Now, if you'd like to order a DIY recipe, you have to go down to the drop down where it says items and you want to switch that over to DIY recipes right there. Now you follow the same thing and go ahead and fill up whatever it is that you want to order. So let's go ahead and look up some Cherry Blossom DIYs. Now let's go ahead and click on Cherry Blossom Bonsai. I'm going to put that there. Some branches, flooring, and there you go. Now if you're on Windows, you can go ahead and right click if you want to delete anything that you put in your inventory otherwise you can click on it and you can click delete item now if you want to delete everything from your inventory you just click on delete item three times and it will clear it for you 
Now I'm going to quickly show you how to stack items on Mobile Spawner. Now let's type in Nook Mile Tickets. Now you click on Nook Mile Tickets and let's make sure it's assigned to the first slot. Um, if you just go ahead and click set to current, this is actually only one ticket. It's not going to be stacked um, as 10 Nook Mile Tickets. Now if you want to stack this, you want to head over to count and you want to click it three times. When you do that, it, the number here is going to change to a 9. That means it's fully stacked for 10 Nook Mile tickets. Now once you do that, you can go ahead and click on set to current and you'll see that there's a little 9 up there so you know that you did it right. Now if you want to if you want to apply it to your whole first line of your inventory, you can go ahead and click on fill a row. And there you go. You have um, 100 Nook Mile tickets right there. Now let's go ahead and fill the rest of your inventory with hardwood. So let's go ahead and look up hardwood, click on it. Let's make sure you click on this three times. And let's go ahead and click on fill all. And there you go, it filled up the other 30 slots with a full stack of hardwood. Now don't worry about the uses or the flag, you will never have to change them. You can keep these at zero at all times. Now when you're done with all of this, all you have to do is click on the copy order command. You'll see a screen that comes up and it what it basically did is it copied the uh, command into your clipboard. Now all you have to do is go back into Discord and all you have to do is copy and paste that command. Once you do that, you'll go ahead and click enter. And then you'll see that Brewster's takeout um, added you to the order queue and it tells you your position number. And if you click on it, you'll see that it says, I've added you to the queue, I'll message you here when you're ready. And basically what it's gonna do is when, when it when it catches the Dota code, um, it's going to tell you to um, make sure that your inventory is empty and make sure that you're ready at Orville at the Dota screen and then it will tell you how many seconds you have to arrive and the Dota code. So make sure that you're ready to fly into the island as soon as this happens. Now, if you're back here and you want to save this order on your computer or your phone, um, all you have to do is you can click on the .nhi button on the top right and you can go ahead and click on save current inventory and you could save it as whatever you would like so let's call it nook mile hardwood whatever and then x out of there let's go ahead and delete that now you'll see that i have it saved to my desktop you could put it in a folder whatever it is that you may um wherever it is that you may want to keep it at now the cool thing is you can load up these .nhi files to see what is in them on the app. So I have another one right here called goldentools.nhi. So if I click on this and I click on load inventory and I find that goldentools.nhi, I click open and then you'll see my inventory populate with the items. If you click on it, you'll see what, what item it is exactly on the bottom right, on the bottom on the search bar. Now. The cool thing about creating .nhi files is that you can actually order with this file instead of actually putting it all in. Now if there is an NHI file that's already pre-made, you can go ahead and order directly with it. So it's really easy how you do it. You do the same thing, you do percent order, and then all you have to do is you attach the file. So if it's the golden tools file, you just click open and then you just click upload and then there we go right now it's it's saying fa fail to cure your order um, mostly because I'm in the middle of doing an order right now but this is exactly what you would do in case you wanted to um, do, do an order with an NHI file basically what it will do is it will generate these items on the island for you You'll fly in, you'll pick up your items in the designated time frame that it gives you, and then you'll fly out. Now if you don't pick up the items in time, the bot will just disconnect, and then you will be sent home. Now the same Dodo code is never used, um, it's always going to be something different each time for each, each player that flies in. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you use um, 
Barry's mobile spawner. Um, big credits to uh, Barry Chan for creating this. And thank you, and I'll see you guys on the next one.